All right, guys, I'm super excited to get into this video. This is what will be my uh, home charger for my inevitable Ford F-150 Lightning, whenever that time might be. Um, I know it's obviously early. However, I the company Lectron here reached out to me and asked if I'd review one of their units. And I'm like, absolutely, because I did plan on getting a level two charger at my home regardless. So I'm really excited that they reached out because this one literally fits everything I was looking for. Not only that, but I'm gonna be making a lot of videos on this and down the road, we actually will probably be giving one of these units away. So stay subscribed if you're interested in a potential free uh, level two charger of a, uh, I think almost four or five hundred dollar value. So I'm really excited about that. We're going to we're going to make that happen. So in this video, I'm going to talk about why I'm so excited about this particular unit. Um, why I probably won't go with the Ford Connect one. If you're someone who ordered a F-150 Lightning and you want a home charger, uh, even if you don't want this one, I'll still give you a couple tips on like what to look for and just the, the kind of basics of home charging here. So without further ado, let's talk about why you might need a, an external charger or a level two charger here. Um, first of all, you probably don't. <laughs> Not everyone will need this, or it's more of like a, a luxury, I guess, to have. Or if you have multiple EVs in your home, it's kind of a must. So um, I want to talk about first what comes with the Lightning. So if you have the extended range battery, this probably this video probably isn't for you because it comes with the Ford Charge Station Pro. It's just way better than most of these. It also can deliver up to 80 amps, which is double this one here, and the extended range battery can accept that much power. Therefore, that's just the way to go, in my opinion, is just it comes with the charger, hire an electrician to install it in your house, and you're golden. So for everyone else, though, this I guess this is more for the standard range battery, or if you're looking for an additional charger, then this video is probably for you. Now, what comes with the standard range battery, though? Because it does come with a charger that kind of checks all the boxes. Now, what it comes with is similar to a Tesla. It is a mobile charger, uh, like that you keep in your car with you. Uh, personally, for my Tesla, I, <laughs> I literally only used that and I was totally fine. Now, it was like a very slow drip charge. I never even installed the NEMA uh, 1450 to get more power out of it. I literally just used my 15 amp home connection. Um, and that worked on the Tesla, but remember <laughs> the Tesla's battery is almost half the size of what the lightning will be. Therefore more power is probably needed. And, and in fact, very much recommended with that mobile charger. What you get is like I said, the 15 amp standard home outlet. You could just use that. That's totally fine. Especially if you're not driving a lot. However, it also will come with an adapter for that 1450 NEMA outlet I mentioned, and that's going to give you up to 32 amps of power. I had to check my notes there. And that's kind of plenty. So what that'll do is Ford estimates a 14 hour charge from 15 to 80%. Sorry, 15 to 100%. So that's an overnight charge. You're totally fine with that. However, if you want a little bit quicker, this one right here, for instance, is going to give you up to 40 amps. So this will do, now this is right in between the standard uh, mobile charge unit you can get and the, what Ford is calling Ford connected charge station. So this is more of Ford's standard station. It's about $800. It's kind of hard to find. There's a couple websites that actually do sell it right now. However, um, it is kind of hard to find and it will do 48 amps, which is really fantastic. Like that is great. However, there's a lot of these level twos that will sneak in in the in-between price between, you know, 400 to $500. If you're looking to save a little money, they'll do around 40 amps. Some of them will do even more. This particular one is 40 though. So it'll probably sneak right in around maybe a 12 hour charge. I, again, I can't wait to test this stuff in further videos, but where Ford estimated the, uh, Ford Connect station to be 10 hours to get from 15 to 100. I would say this is right in between this and the mobile charger and it'll probably charge in about 12 hours. So that's the sweet spot for me. I love it. Um, now, I guess let's get into opening this and then I'll share one piece of why I like. No, let me share that first. So what's cool about this unit and you might love this or you might hate this. However, 
this actually uses that NEMA outlet I mentioned. So there's no hardwire installs. You don't have to go directly into your breaker. You don't need a third party unit to like control power. It will, like I said, it's just a box that literally plugs into your unit. Uh, all you need to do is install the 1450 in your garage, wherever it might be. And then this will plug right into it, but give you more power than that cable that comes with Ford. Now, again, I, I really want to stress that that cable, that mobile charger that comes with the lightning is probably great for most people. And in fact, you know, I would almost use that before you buy something like this. However, this is just that next step. It kind of looks cool to have in your garage. I guess if I'm being honest, I kind of like the aesthetic of it too. And then I really like the fact that I can have the mobile charger in my truck or car, whatever the EV I'm driving at the time is, and have that in there for emergencies, for road trips, for, you know, a good example is I took the Tesla skiing a lot and we'd be in Airbnbs and I'd want to charge there. <laughs> I think uh, uh, that saved me a lot, actually, because I was able to charge overnight and I didn't have to go scrambling for a charger in the morning. So uh, having that, being able to stay in your vehicle and not having to unload it, pack it, install it in your house, uninstall it in your house, a second charger is really going to be great. OK, enough rambling. Let's open this up. OK, so we have the Electron uh, electric vehicle charging station uh, using the J1772. And of course, if you do own a Tesla, you can always use the adapter that comes with every Tesla to use this on your home as well. And now the first thing that caught my eye is the wall box branding. They are actually a little bit bigger than, Electr than Electron here. Uh, I wonder if there's some sort of partnership or if, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what exactly is going on there, but it actually makes me really happy with this unit because now I have Electron, which is already a pretty reputable name, but Wallbox as well. So if there's some sort of partnership there, I feel really good about this unit because you know they're, they know what they're doing. So let's open this up. Oh, the suspense. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take this out real quick. Okay, let's see everything that this came with. Now, right off the bat, I see some housing for cabling probably. This envelope. What does it feel like? Uh, some brackets. I don't even think I'll open that yet. And then, oh, I have more stuff to open up. One sec. Okay, so let me just open this up so you can see the connection. Oh, did I mention that this thing is totally waterproof? So you have your waterproof cap here. Um, so you can install this outside. Another awesome feature is that this you can use an NFID reader. So if you are installing this in a place of work, uh, you can give all of your employees um, a, a card that they can use so no strangers will be drawing your power, but employees only can charge on this. So I think that's a really cool future if you, feature if you own a business and you want to uh, allow semi-public charging or, or just employee charging. Um, really cool feature in my opinion. You can kind of see it in the picture. It does have an amperage readout, so you'll know what kind of power you're drawing, which is a good feature. However, this is not a Wi-Fi unit. I'm pretty sure um and that's not a deal breaker for me i i really don't mind it not being a wi-fi unit i know a lot of people think that's key and it, and it kind of is if you are like for people looking for certain tax credits you need a wi-fi unit unit so this one actually won't work for you um however again it, it's totally checking the boxes for me anyway uh, the reason you need a wi-fi unit for some uh tax credits is so you can program it to only charge off hours, but I'm already charging at night either way, so I don't think that's super important for me. All right, now what I'm showing you here is the uh, NEMA connection. This is the 1450, uh, as I mentioned. They're pretty simple to install what I've done. I think uh, my dad and I might just do it ourselves here. Uh, like I said, we're gonna install the NEMA connection in our new house, and then like I said, what's great is this will just plug right into that connection. I guess that's a little bit of a downside here. It looks like you only have like a three or four foot cable. Uh, so this unit has to be right next to where your NEMA is. But then, and they do offer different lengths here. I think this is the 15 foot. So as for quality, um, you got great strain relief here. 
the unit itself seems pretty nice. At first, I felt like the top is kind of like maybe cheaper plastics, but it has incorporations of some nicer materials too. Overall, it's pretty fantastic, really. Again, you got your waterproof cover here. So yeah, that is the unit. I wish we were installing it today. I really do. However, as I mentioned, I'm moving and it just doesn't make sense. Um, unless I wanted to spend a couple hundred bucks just to give the new owners a, <laughs> a NEMA connection that they probably don't need. So that's what it looks like. Let's talk about just a couple final features here and then uh, we'll be on our way. Okay, quick recap if you kind of skip the unboxing of just my favorite parts here. Again, this might not be for everyone, but I absolutely love that the installation involves just plugging right into a NEMA connection, especially if something cooler or more advanced uh, comes on the market later. NEMA 15, 1450s have potential of going 50 amps, so if you get a bigger unit later, you can just simply unplug it. You don't have to actually... Uh, hire an electrician to unroute it from the unit because a lot of these boxes hardwire right into your actual breaker, including the Ford Station one. So I think that's really cool that this is the installation. There's, there's a, it's not unique to this charger. However, I like it. <laughs> um, as I mentioned before, another really cool feature is the RFID reader to turn it on. So again, the, why would you use that? Um, Maybe this is outside your house. Maybe it's a very public area and you want to make sure nobody's coming to stealing your power. Uh, I don't know that if that's so much common. More as if you own a business and you're installing it there and you just want your employees to be able to charge. They're really cheap online. You can do cards. You can do keychains. You can do wristbands. Whatever it is, you can make them and program it to the fact that you need the RFID to turn it on and use it, which is just a perfect way to gate uh, strangers from stealing your power. Speaking of installing it and having it in other places, it is waterproof, as I mentioned. Uh, the box itself, as well as the charger, you got a cap here uh, to make sure no water gets in. So if you are using this for, it, it really is the perfect solution for your business, really. If you're looking for a mobile charger for your business, uh, I can't stress that enough because you could install it outside. It's waterproof. You have that gated uh, RFID access. And, you know, it's not a Tesla charger. It's the J17 or whatever. But every Tesla charger comes with an adapter for this. So I personally, uh, even as a Tesla owner, obviously, I don't want to have a Tesla charger because then you're stuck with just a Tesla charger. Although Electron does make a reverse adapter, uh, Tesla to J17 as well, uh, that only works on smaller units, not on the superchargers. I should state that because that would be really cool if it worked on the superchargers, but it doesn't. Uh, so... Yes, there's there's adapters both ways. However, future proofing yourself, this is the way to go in my opinion because Ford is really locked down into this connector. Chevy's using everyone but Tesla uses this connector. So, if you're having gas, if you ever plan on buying a non-Tesla in the future or even want to keep the window open to be able to purchase something without having to use an adapter, I'd go J17 all day. And I am very much excited to use this thing. But I'm curious if I'm the only one who's looking to get one of these kind of mid-grade chargers. For me, it's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Like I said, I want to be able to keep the mobile charger in my truck and then have this charger at home for home use. Uh, I know a lot of you will probably just use that mobile charger. So if that's the case, let me know. And then also, if you're actually going with the Ford middle one, the 48 amp, not 80 amp, I'm curious on why you're choosing that as well other than the fact that you just get more power. So there's nothing wrong with that. I would totally get it if it wasn't so expensive. Uh, I think this will do the job for me without having, it's literally half the price. So um, that's kind of just my thinking there. And you don't have to hardwire into your house. I mean, like I said, I when I bought this house, I didn't know I'd be moving in two years. So then I'd have to actually probably hire an electrician to uninstall it and take it with me. So this is a cool feature in my opinion. Well, that's all. I hope you found this exciting. If you have any questions on charging, uh, I'm not an absolute pro, but I know a decent amount, so you can drop that in the comments as well. And then, like I said, the plan is to get the, either this unit or Electron's working on a bigger, better version of this. 
uh, that I might be able to get my hands on too. So we either are, are either giving one of these or the better one away uh, right here on my channel. So stay subscribed and we'll, we'll get that in a future video to teach you how to uh, be eligible because I want to give these away. <laughs> So I'm super excited to start giving stuff away on this channel. I can't believe I never thought of it before. Um, that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.